Welcome to the Spiritual Deep Dive in Five podcast. So glad you could join us to spend some time reflecting on God and His love for each of us today. Make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. That way you'll never miss out on any of our content. The Spiritual Deep Dive podcast is posted Monday through Friday by Christ Church of Flagstaff here in Flagstaff, Arizona. And you can find more information about our church online at ccof.church. Thank you so much for watching. And we are so excited to see what God is going to do in your life because you are committed to spending time with him. Uh, I want to share a verse with you that was, uh, it's had a lot of profound meaning for me over the course of my life. Uh, and especially uh, when I was even younger, although um, depending on who you are and what you're watching, you know, you might think, wow, that guy's ancient. I can't believe how old he is. And the rest of you might be saying, you're still so young. Uh, and, and I really believe that. And I, and I believe that this verse applies actually regardless of age. Um, but when I was younger, God asked me to do some pretty bold things uh, as a teenager. Uh, and God put me in positions of leadership uh, where I was working with people who are much older than myself. And so I was really drawn to um, First and Second Timothy. And Timothy, uh, if you don't know, uh, was, a, was a young man, uh, very strong in his faith, and God called him to lead, uh, even though he wasn't as old or as experienced as many others. You know, God chooses us as he wills to do the things that he wants from us. And so the Apostle Paul, uh, who wrote most of the New Testament, many of the letters, r- writes these letters to young Timothy. Uh, and First Timothy, uh, Timothy's kind of kind of struggling uh, as he's been called to lead in this position. And Paul's just trying to encourage him. And um, what he says in um, chapter 4, verse 12, this, and this is the verse that I've always clung to. I'm reading from the NLT, New Living Translation. Paul writes to Timothy, don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. And then verse 13 says, until I get there, focus on reading the scriptures to the church, encouraging the believers and teaching them. It's just so interesting because I think I can see how Timothy would be frustrated. Like, why did God put me in this position? Like, these people are older than me. You know, they clearly don't respect me. And um, maybe I maybe I should give in. Maybe maybe I'm not qualified. You know, I, I, there's just a whole host of emotions that I'm sure he could have been going through. Uh, why do I think that? Because I've been through those emotions. And um, and Paul just tells him, be an example. Be an example to these people. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. I mean, he's just calling Timothy to be the man that God asked him to be in that position. And and in so doing, he's an example to everyone around him. And that gave me a lot of comfort and a lot of guidance as a young man. Uh, And even now, I mean, I'm 34. uh, I have three kids and and a beautiful wife of 12 years. You know, I'm not as young as when I was really drawn to this verse as a 13, 14 year old, but I carried it with me, you know, as a 19 year old in my early to mid twenties, you know, as a 20 somethings pastor, uh, trying to love on and lead people in my church that God had called me to who were much older than I was. It wasn't my place as a pastor to tell them what to do. It was my place to be an example, to be an example just just in the things I say, be an example in how I love, be an example in my faith of the living God, the one I love and trust, to be an example in purity. And, And don't don't let that last one slip you by because it, it's so big. And I think in our day, it, it's really lost. But regardless of whether you're leading people older than you or younger than you, regardless of whether you consider yourself a leader or not, God's called us all to be an example to each other of his great love. 
of his great mercy, of his patience, to have faith and to love one another.